Fluffy, touch. Good boy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish, greenish, sometimes it turns purple hair. Today, the Fluffy Poodle and I, we have to pack our bags. We got to pack them to get ready for this airplane trip. So we're going to show you guys what we're going to put in the Fluffy Poodle's carry-on bag for this multiple hour airplane trip to California. Now why Fluffy has given me that love in which I adore, I gotta make sure he has the right book bag for all of his equipment. Searching through the whole house and everywhere and I really couldn't find a good book bag until I thought about way back in the army when I had this one. This book bag also has a whole bunch of these loops all over so you can put different types of equipment and attach it on. Then it has this Velcro right here, so you can throw a nice service dog patch so people know who's next to me and what this book bag is for. Lovey, break. Heel. Come on. Now we have to go over to the kitchen to get a big Ziploc bag so we can put some of his food in. We're going to put 24 to 40 hours with of food in a Ziploc bag. One, two, three. I think three will be good. I keep Fluffy's food in an airtight container. The reason for this is it helps it stay fresh just a little bit longer. Now that was pretty cool. We actually fit four and a half cups of food in each bag. Fluffy normally only eats about three to three and a half cups of food per day. But with us being able to fit four and a half in there, I think that we'll have plenty and a little bit extra. Now we're taking this food just in case if our main bags get lost. At least we have enough food in our carry-on that's with us at all times for about 48 hours. You already know what's next, don't you? Because I already pulled it out, don't you? You know, you know, dog. Yes, you do. Next, we're gonna make sure that we have plenty, plenty of treats. Now, we use these treats because they're freeze-dried. Orion freeze-dried treats have very little water in them. And since we're gonna be on the flight for a while, we don't want him to go to the bathroom. So we'll use these because it'll give him less, less hydration in his body for the chance of him going to the bathroom. So we got the bag, we got some food for about 48 hours, we got your treats. I think next we gotta get some toys and then some grooming equipment. I know most of you let your dogs have toys all the time that they want, but me personally, I don't allow Mr. Fluffy that opportunity. See, I actually hide these toys behind this door. I hide every last one of them. Now the reason why I do that is because there's a time and there's a place for all toys. A rope toy is made for pulling. A ball toy is made for fetch. And a toy like this, that has some, you know, squeaker in it, those are made for biting. And the toys that we're gonna be taking on the airplane are the rope and a ball and on a rope. The reason why we have this rope is because he can bite it and pull it just, you know, a short little distance while he's down below me or, you know, in a little area if we have that opportunity. And it's as simple as this. Fluffy bites. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, you good boy. Out. Good bites. Yes, you good boy. Hold. Yes, you good boy. See? Out. And it keeps him entertained and having fun. Now, when it comes to this ball and rope, the reason why we're taking this is this is one of his favorite, favorite toys. I tell you, he, if I just toss this up, look, you see his head? Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes! <laughs> Stay is a good boy. Is a good boy. Yeah, that's one of your big reward toys, isn't it? Fluffy out. So whenever he does like something really good or, you know, and I really want him to be focused on certain things, this is my toy. This is like my go-to toy. And it's glow in the dark. Now we got to put those to the side because now's not the time to play. Now's the time to finish packing the bags. You know, I got to go over here and get in the drawer to get all the paperwork. You need a lot of paperwork to fly with a service dog. I mean, it's not a lot of paperwork. It's about four or five pieces of paper that are in here. All right, now in this paper, I have a letter from an organization 
that I got him from. I also have, let's count how many pieces of paper we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight pieces total because this one that was down here, that's a letter from the organization just saying that, hey, uh, you know, I got them from that organization. I also have the Department of Transportation form. I have the service animal authorization for travel from the airlines. That is one, two, three pages. I also have his rabies verification, his shot records, and what's this last one? Basically his shot records, again, just a different type of a form. Like I said a second ago, we put these in a Ziploc bag and we keep them on his vest and in the book bag at all times. We can't forget his poop bags and I just dropped them from up there. Fluffy, pick up. Come on. Good. So we need to make sure we have his poop bags. Normally I have a sanitizer thing that goes in there, but since we're flying, no liquids. Um, but at least we got poop bags just in case. We can't forget little bitty baggies to put his treats in. We always take these because it's much easier and smaller and compact for your pocket, hoodie, jacket, or whatever you're wearing. Let me break. Burr, it is cold out here. Oh, I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. Oh, where is it at, where is it at, where is it at? Oh, I found it, there it is. I got it, I got it. We had to run out to the truck and get a second vest and his shoes. Let's run back inside because it's cold. Burr, hurry, Fluffy, hurry. Come on, boy. Woo so here it all is. All of this stuff right in front of us. Fluffy, we have a book bag, the toys, poop bags, food, paperwork, grooming equipment, shoes, a placemat, an extra vest, treats. And I think about all of this will cover everything for just the plane trip and make sure we're good for about 24 hours to 48 just in case if anything happens for an emergency. Now we're gonna pack up this bag very good and nice so it doesn't hurt my back and it's not too much stuff. We gotta put the big heavy stuff on the bottom in the back, okay? So we'll put the food all the way on the bottom and then we're gonna slide in these treats right behind it. Try to keep this as flat as possible as well. I'm thinking the paperwork should be in the top portion that's the most easily accessible along with the poop bags, okay? Because those are the two things that we might need the most. And this little compartment all the way up front on the bottom, I'm gonna put the extra treat bags and his grooming equipment in it. In this big compartment right here, we're gonna go ahead and throw his toys in, the shoes in. Last but not least, we have to stand this book bag up and put his placemat on the side. So we'll take this placemat, we'll roll it up, and right here, we're just gonna Velcro it over and tighten it up. But Fluffy, I know that they're like, you're missing something. I sure am missing something. I know what we're missing. Do you know? Do you know? We're missing his extra service dog vest, okay? His one tiger service dog vest. But the reason why I didn't put it in his book bag is because I can easily attach it anywhere I want on, on here. So I'm gonna go like that. Put it on, and now this is easy peasy, lemon squeezy for the fluffy put on eye to get on this airplane. Well, Fluffy, it looks like you're ready and I'm ready, and I think we should be set for this trip. We'll see you guys on the next episode, and until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear, and his bluish green is sometimes it turns purple hair. We'll see you guys. Give me a high five, buddy. High five. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Bam.